a hobby star 1400 in the 55 amp wraith This gearing is about the same as a SCX-102 with the 10 tooth pinion, which is about 54 to 1. Try to blow the image out so you can see the motor going. up to the top you can see the drag brake how well it's gonna hold too steep to climb so drag brake holds pretty good you can overpower it but I mean, this is a lightweight car. It holds pretty. See if you pull on it, it will. But it holds pretty good. So it has the active, active brake. So you can see if you stop, the drag brake kicks in. And as soon as it goes in reverse, it doesn't just roll down the hill. Uh, a lot of that jerkiness is me. The throttle's kind of sensitive. I'm not used to driving a car that's this fast. I usually gear it down a lot more than this. But I wanted to give you a sample of what it was like if it's comparable in speed to like a SCX-10. Alright. It's like a bat out of hell. I don't know how you can drive it this fast. No more opinion. So yeah, today guys, what he's doing right now is he's trying to fix the machine, the component where machine. he just, uh, if you weren't looking on film earlier, he got very upset and he like throwing things. throwing things. I, th I even seen a ninja kick off the top of the rock. You know what I mean? So when this happens and your machine's not working like it needs to be no more, machine. we're going to get in detail. So we're running a... A car. A car <laughs> on rocks. Uh, see, I, I milled the, this was a five millimeter pinion, and I milled it down. Like, you see how it gets all fat in the back? Mm -hmm. I like milled it down with a Dremel. Like, I just ran the motor and then ran the Dremel back and forth, and uh, till, it, till it fit a standard pinion at three three point one five. <sighs> but I didn't put a flat spot on the motor, so. I need to put a flat spot in it so the pinion will hook up. Hey! Too much weight in the front to do a wheelie, but it does a back wheelie just fine. Uh, I can't drive with one hand. Let's see if we can bind this. So, right now, when you get too much of a bind on it, It'll kind of, the motor will slip. I use clutches, so I'm not sure how I feel about this. I can turn the power up, but the ESC will generate more heat in that super slow range. Um, and by super slow range, 
this is already too fast for that super slow range. So as long as you're going this fast, it won't get too hot. So how often do you really need to go this slow to where it's really an issue? And I, I don't mind the slipping all that much. I prefer it to breaking stuff. I can get rid of the slipping, but then the ESC creates more heat. That's uh, not my thing. This seems like a better option.